Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so, I was thinking of making a video of something I was just thinking about just a couple minutes ago, but then I thought, well, you guys don't need to hear that. It was a big kind of village kind of having his monthly breakdown of emotion. You guys don't need to hear about that. I'm not going to discuss it anymore. We're just going to talk about, you know, how Monday and Tuesday have so far gone. So I've decided to do two day updates. So one, the day before and today is how things are going to work from now on. And what the fuck is that in my hair? Yeah. No. Whatever it was. You can tell it now. Uh, sorry if my eyes look kind of weird. It's just how things go. So, um, we'll start with Monday. Monday. Fuck day. Um, Monday started out kind of interesting for me. Um, I woke up, I was saying, wait, something's off. And I look outside, I'm thinking, they didn't get up this early. So I walked back and saw my mom still asleep. So I was thinking, um, this is odd. I'm thinking, okay, well, my mom and dad's probably at work. She's probably working until like 11. So I'll still be able to go to the gym and you know, get my lift on. Not the case. Uh, he came home around 11, uh, birch it all over the car. Fucking seagulls. And, well, I made to wash the car off real quick. So I was thinking, well, I could go and lift, but I'm not going to. Is this the back of my fucking eye again? Or my, my fucking eyebrow? So I hope not. That would suck. But... I guess liking this too, like I just did this recently. I think it looks good. But, anyways, back to how Monday went. So, I was thinking, well, I could go, but no, it's not. So, when 3 o'clock came around, you know, did stuff. And they went to the store and everything. I stayed home watching this show. I'm not going to tell you the show. It gave some of you wondering, like, oh, he's always watching something, but he never tells us what it is. And that's because, motherfucker, you look at me and be like, weeb. So that's what I'm going to say. It's all I'm going to say. On that, on that subject. The day ended, uh, me watching the very same show again. Getting up to episode 146. No, it was one. Forty. It's one forty-five, I think. I th don't quote me on that, but I think it was one forty-five. I don't know, to be honest. This is really odd because I'm trying to f I'm trying to get into the better habit of actually looking at the fucking cram the the ca the camera. Yeah, that's what I want to fucking say. The fucking camera. The lens. This thing. This. Fucking thing right fucking here. So I'm trying to get better at that. But you know how I your eyes are they they go the first fucking thing in motion, so when you see your fucking self come back in the fucking faith, you're like, huh, dun, dun, dun. But um So yeah, that was Monday. So I'm thinking, well Tuesday and Wednesday are gonna suck. Because they just are. Cause Tuesday and Wednesday always suck for me. Because I always have to fucking deal with being the fucking errand boy for people. And when I say errand boy, that means do fucking going over going for fucking eight hours. Seriously, that's how fucking some of these days are. It's like, I don't get paid for this fucking shit. I wish I would. Because you guys know, because for those who know me, you know I'm not that fucking way. So, I don't. Which I should. So I'm going to charge me for shit I fucking want to do.
but um let's 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 get on to today um so today started out I had a, my stomach was kind of acting up on me and I didn't know what it was and I felt kind of felt awkward just to, you know stand the fuck up you know that that early morning when you had for most guys the first thing we do in the morning old guys before it's the first thought on our fucking bed first thought on our mind before anything not before eating or anything it's going to the fucking bathroom lifting the fucking toilet seat and drain draining your fucking lizards right into the fucking toilet that's the first thing to any guy who doesn't do that what the fuck are you doing you're gonna fucking make a five star style fucking breakfast before you take a piss in the morning? Like, come on! Or are you that or are you that fucking fancy that you have a little toilet that comes out? So as you're as you're fucking flipping your fucking eggs or omelet or pancake or whatever, or you're begging you and take a piss. I say, if you're one of those people, tell me how you do it. Yeah. But let's, let's, let's get on to how everything else went on. So, around the same time, my, my, my one of my parents woke up. And, uh, I told, I told them that I, uh, that I, that, 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 that I, um, had a stomach ache. And if so-and-so comes over, tell them I have a fucking stomach ache. Not fucking feeling good. Because I wasn't. And then I'm sleeping, and I'm I'm hearing this fucking this fucking knocking. And I know it's just fucking person. This is the same motherfucker who does it every goddamn time. Like motherfucker, we're not answering. Stop fucking knocking. You didn't hear a knock on the fucking. You didn't hear an answer from the windows. You didn't hear a fucking answer from the fucking door. You hear the dog barking, but you fucking that's all you fucking heard. Uh, go. Like understand this. And then it's like, and then you just like, oh, I can finally go back to sleep, and maybe the stomach ache will be over. And then when I wake up and it's over, I can actually do shit and see what the fuck that person wanted. But no, that wasn't the case. Is that like, here I am? Fucking, I had a video going on my on this phone. I was trying to relax, I fucking hear, I hear the person say his fucking usual fucking thing he says to me. He gonna say, oh, how are you, how are you feeling? No, the, whew. and it's like, it's gonna be like this. So then I had to help this person cut the grass. Then I had to go with them as their mom had to take her, her brother their, to his, his uncle to all these places you're dragging me along for this shit so then something I'd ask one of my parents to you know get for me today cause you know they know what you know cause she does one of the parents does the fucking laundry so, so she know what I'm fucking lacking in uh so I had to get that today I had to get it I had to get it you know, I asked politely to say, hey, can you get this for me? You're going into town later on today, so can you? And I get the, oh, you go do it. Yeah. For those of you who do not realize um, this about me, I may seem all fucking cocky and everything. But that's because I'm actually s somewhat irritated right now by events that I will not get into but here's the thing I give every ounce of what I do 
what I try to do to people. I try to help them the most I can. I try to be there for them. I help them every step of the fucking way. And I do all of this without any thought of getting a reward. And as much as I do for some people, no matter who they are, I'm always asked to do more from. There's no like, oh hey, you did this for us, let's do this, and you know, just to help you out because you helped us. No, it's always um, you're gonna do this because we said you're going to. It's like I don't want to be a dick to some of these people, but sometimes I just want to tell them to fuck off. You're not paying me for this shit, so why the fuck should I do it? Like I'm. I generally don't want to sound like an asshole, but it's like, you ask so fucking much, and and if I do get anything, it's something that, it's like, oh, well, we'll just, we, we have plenty of this. It's, it doesn't have any fucking worth to it. You say, oh, you know, some people, you know, would die to have some of this stuff. Yeah, but you have to understand this. Those who charge you to do, to take time out of your day, to do stuff for them, that A, you don't want to do, and B, why the fuck should I have to? It's your fucking chore, but you're making it mine. You're trying to give yourself a reason to drag me all onto these fucking places. And a lot of you could be thinking, well, why don't you just say no? Because when I do, ultimately it ends up I get kicked out of the fucking house. That's what happens. And then I hear, why are you gone so long? I was like, well, because you fucking kicked me out of the house. And those motherfuckers won't let me fucking leave. They always like, oh, we're going to go here. And then, the moment I do, they come right fucking back, see what the fuck I'm doing, because they can't leave me the fuck alone. Like, like, new people, like, is this honestly that sexy that people have to fucking always be around me? Because, I know what some of my friends are going to fucking say. I know what you guys are gonna, some of you are going to say. Like, yes, Liz, you are hot. But for the new people, like, is this... For some of you who don't know, I am 296 pounds. Yeah. The six pounds comes from this. But, in other words, that's, that's pretty big. I'm 19. So, yeah. But it's like... And then, when I ask something that's actually generally affecting me, because... There is something that we have to do that we have to deal with here, and it's the morning reason I had a stomach ache today. So I had left to know before I fucking left with these fucking people because I, if I said no, these fucking people would come over, and then I'd get kicked out of the house of fucking again. Because you know I spend too much time in my fucking house. Let me guys, let me tell you another story. I am currently the place I'm working at is currently being renovated to go to its new place. So what I have to deal with is not working. So what that means is, if I don't have a place to be, I don't go places. I don't go looking for shit. If I have nothing to do, and if there's something I can that you know can sustain me until you know ultimately I can go, well then I fucking you know I don't I don't do a lot. I find stuff to like, take my mind off of some of this shit. Like, all, all you do is, you know, you sit at home, play video games, watch fucking videos on YouTube. But, you don't realize that majority of my time gets taken up because other people are always asking for things. So the few days I do get to actually relax and do what I need to do is very seldom. You know, there are days I ask, you know, to have to my own so I can do things. Some of those days tend to be, you know... Well, actually, I, I technically ask for three, but the third one makes sense because... As some people don't know, Sunday, to me, is a family day. It's a day you spend, you spend with your blood. You don't have to be in the same room as each other. You don't have to be in the same things as each other. As long as you acknowledge the fact that their family is there and you talk to them. Instead of the whole, you know... Well, no. There are people that don't accept the fact that, you know... 
you don't have to be in the same room watching the same thing just as long as you're as you're with them is they know you're here not running around hell's half fucking acre to me knowing that you know if I need to go somewhere something happens I'm there I can understand I can help with it because in all actuality my phone is technically the only phone that works in my household right now. We have a landline, but that landline sucks. My mom doesn't have a my one of my parents doesn't have a phone. My other parent doesn't believe in phones, so I'm the only one with a working cell phone in our family. So if something happens on a Sunday, say to one of them, they have to go by a neighbor and ask for them. They can't go to their son and ask them, "Can we use your phone? Something happened. We need to, you know." You need to call someone about this. They have to honestly don't know where I'm at. They have to get other people involved. And I hate that because then these other people will ask, well, we let you do this at this time, so can you... It's like... It's like you, you, do you guys get what I'm saying? No one does anything out of the kindness of their heart anymore, and to those that do, are always the ones to be used. So today was just, it wasn't a good day for me. At all. It just, it just wasn't. I have some of, the, I, I deal with some of these days a lot, and it's like, today was the day that just broke me. But hey, I did get to try a fucking DQ Blizzard for the first time ever. I've never had a Blizzard before. And I got an Oreo one because I remember the Oreo McFlurries from McDonald's. Hashtag no sponsor. But Dairy Queen's, it melted a little bit too quick for my liking. And the other people that I was in the car, in the vehicle with, just fucking like howling it down. I'm saying it's fucking actually trying to enjoy this. Like, I may do everything else done really fast because that, that stuff can get past really easy. But this is ice cream. This is ice cream with cookies in it. You take your fucking time with that shit. You don't just go, uh, la, 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 you know, slowly. Make sure you get just enough, not too much that it goes over it. And when some of that melts, you take some of that up so it doesn't, you know, speed up. And you get some of that ice. So it's like the melted stuff with the cold stuff. It's great. But I'm rambling, and we're going on for probably almost 20 minutes now. 20 minutes of seeking my face. Yeah. But with that said, everyone, I hope you guys have a great day. Have a fabulous rest of your day. Stay classy, and I will try to stay classy even on days when I feel like absolute shit. So with that said, everyone, I'll see you in my next video. And this has been The Quiet Cat. Peace.